the new album you said deals with struggles of uh, alcohol. Are you, are you sober now? No, sir. What, what, I so am responsible now. How'd you get responsible? Because most people who have a problem with alcohol, they got to go, you know, you got to either go one way or the other. It got to a terrible point. And um, you, you, you asked some great questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it, it was to a really, really, really rough point. And um, I couldn't get up off the floor for, for, for weeks. And that's what a, a lot of the inspiration for the album comes. But I don't want, I never want to bring people down. I just want to express how I feel. Yeah, but, but what were you drinking? It was screwdrivers. It was a bunch right. of, it was vodka. It was vodka right. and it was, it was bodying fifths and, um, trying to hang in there and, and talking to people who weren't fucking there <laughs> and trying to say, hey, that help bad, me huh? out. could you yeah. help me up? You know, um, there's uh, hotel rooms and. What do you think was going on? Were you hating yourself? Were you, um, did you ever get to the bottom of it? Did you get help with it? Um, no, sir. I never got help with it. I just have super beautiful people around me, and uh, I met a really beautiful person that um, a woman. made me feel like uh, a human being again. And this is your girlfriend. Like a piece. Yes, sir. And and she was able to get through to you and say, "Look, I, I love you, but I can't deal with you." And did she give you the ultimatum? Did she say to you, "Look, I, I understand you're your own person, but if you want to be with me," You you got to make a decision, me or the alcohol. No, sir. And it's it's not. Oftentimes, whenever you're looking for help or subconsciously even seeking help, it's not. An ultimatum is always heartbreaking. It's just like, oh fuck, you know what do I do? It's it's the guidance. It's the guidance out of the dark into the light. It's not like. Oh, you pick, you know, there's a show, The Dog or Me, right? It's, it's not that. It's right. you are you, and I love you so much, and I see what you can be. And I know who you can be, and I know you, you're not like this. And, um, yeah, she saved my fucking life. It's pretty epic. Is there someone in your life who, like, I know, like, you, you love Justin Bieber. He gave you a break. He put mm -hmm. you on tour with him in the beginning mm -hmm. when your career was going. And you, mm. lo you love him. You, you, you refer to him as your brother. Were yes, there sir. dudes like that who had the kind of fame that could turn to you and say, Post, I love you. You're fucking up, dude. Or was this just something you had to figure out on your own? There was a time to where I had so much guidance and, and Justin was guiding me and Justin was like this. But I'm like, you know what? Like, I love you. At the end of the day, I have to do what I want to do. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not listening to anybody. And that's what I'm working on now is an issue with being told what to do. Because at the same time, people can look at you from the outside and see that something's wrong. And you can be trapped in your own fucking world. And it's an issue of opening up. And I need to do a lot less talking and a lot more listening. And, um, I'm yeah. 26 and I'm, and I'm learning every fucking day.